Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can record your USB microphone inside of FL Studio. So I'm going to use the FL Studio ASIO driver and not the ASIO for all driver. And um, if you guys are confused about that, I believe I have a video about audio settings that I did in the past. You can go back and understand the um, difference between the two of them. But here, if I go to options, uh, let me do that step again, just in case you guys missed it. If you go to options, audio settings, uh, you should have this selected, FL Studio issue. Now this comes with FL Studio when you install it, so you shouldn't worry about not having it. Um, the next thing that you guys need to do is click on that huge button here, show issue panel, and it's going to bring this up. So normally by default, 512 is what is selected, but the buffer length determines uh, the latency when you speak. So the lower the number, um, the quicker is going to be received. In my case, um, I'm not doing anything complex, so I'm going to select 256. It's just fine for me. Now, next up um, here in the inputs, you want to select your microphone here. Now, I'm using Samsung Go Mic, which is a great uh, microphone. That's the one I'm using right now. Very affordable, especially compared to competitors such as um, the Yeti microphone, for instance. Um, so uh, I'm going to put a link in the description of this video. If you guys are interested, uh, make sure you check it out. Anyway, for the speakers, I'm selecting my default Intel um, speakers. It's not a fancy laptop or I don't have any studio setup. Uh, so that's uh, what I'm showing you guys with. And um, now that I've selected this, you can uh, check this hard clip output at 0 dB. So you can now close this window here and close this pop up as well. And now select any track in your mixer, it doesn't matter which one, go here and select under FL Studio issue model, select in one. Now you guys are probably going to see, depending on what device you use, you, you're probably going to see the name of your microphone here, uh, which is even better. So make sure you select it as an input device. And now you can see that when I'm speaking in the microphone, um, the bars are moving up and down. So the closer I get to my microphone, um, the higher the bars uh, go. So it's now receiving my voice as input audio here. Now uh, notice that I had to um, unroute this mixer track from the master track. Now the reason why I did that is because if I route it as I speak in the microphone, I'm going to get some feedback. It's going to repeat after me and it's going to sound as if I was just calling on a radio show and my radio was still on. You know, that kind of feedback that you get. So I'm going to make a quick demonstration here. I'm routing it and now there are like double voices. So you don't want any of that. Now the next thing is when I selected in one, notice that this turned red, which means it is now ready for recording. If you hover your mouse around that point or it looks like a dot, something like that, a tiny circle, uh, and you look in the top of FL Studio, that section, it says um, ARM disk recording. So uh, you don't have to tap it again. Once you select the microphone, it should turn red. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be recording my voice in the playlist. So let's do a quick check. Everything is set up now. So I'm going to uh, click on the record button here and I'm going to select audio into the playlist as an audio clip. I'm now recording. Please subscribe to this channel and make sure you share this video. But this video is not over, guys. All right. Please subscribe to. Now, um, let me increase the volume of my laptop just in case you guys can hear it. Otherwise, uh, you guys are going to have to try this on your own. So the volume is now to 100. And let's, let's check out uh, what happened. I'm going to open my playlist. And this is the WAV file that got created. You can see it has untitled and then the dates and the time and record. So let's play this. I'm now recording. Please subscribe to this channel and make sure you share this video. But this video is not over, guys. All right. Right. So I've now recorded my voice and I could always go back to the uh, this mixer here and start adding some VST plugins for some EQ, reverb, um, delays, and all kinds of styles, especially if I already had um, other um, VST plugins set up 
or um, I had some synths, uh, some leads, some pads, a beat, etc. So please try this out. Um, but this video is mainly for guys with a very simple setup like mine. You just have a USB microphone. You just want FR Studio to be able to recognize your audio, your microphone as an input device to start recording. So takeaways of this video, just to recap, go to audio settings, select FL Studio Asio, come here, uh, make your settings, then select your microphone as an input device here after you select one of the tracks. When you're done, make sure this is red and unroute this from the master. When you're ready to record, hit the record button and click on the audio uh, playlist. Uh, you don't have to do that, but that's the option that I wanted to show you guys. You can select Edison if you want. I'll probably show you guys Edison in the next tutorial. So um, that's it. So when you're done, you should be able to see your audio file here. And you can save it independently and use this in, um, in other FL Studio projects as well. Okay, so if you guys like this video, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments. Uh, share this video and catch me next time for the next tutorial. Bye.